sorry about that uh, I guess there's a time limit in how much uh, I could record lastly I just want to I just want to conclude the Lord kept me from all these false people all these false friends and I just want to testify you know I want to testify for the Lord I want to testify through Christ Jesus that he's kept me and, and, and not only did he protect me but the wickedness that they tried to ensnare me with they themselves fell into their own snares they themselves have been caught up and exposed and um, it will continue to be so because as long as you walk in the righteousness and the holy calling then the Lord will be your battler he will be your strong right arm he will move those people that came up against you. He will remove them and cast them down into shame because of their wickedness. And they're, they're going to be exposed before your very own eyes for the glory of God. That they may know that not only is there a God in and over Israel, but there's a God in and over this world and universe. And we have access to Him through Christ Jesus he is the one we go through for those blessings and now it makes sense why in the past many things that the Lord wanted to bless me with things were want just forces wanted to take it away they just want to steal it I'm not saying it's done it's still going on but I wanted to just basically um, bring this testimony to to life to testify before the world knowing that nothing can stand in the way of our God and nothing will stand in your way as long as you're in Him. And lastly, I want to share one more verse with you to, to demonstrate the love and power of God. It's in the book of Revelations, chapter 12, verse 11. And it says, it says, And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. For they love not their lives even unto death. It's, this word encourages me a lot. It encourages me. I get pumped up. I get, I get going. When I read this word, it fills me up with so much joy. So much something about this verse that just man it makes my day it says that we overcome we have overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony and so by the blood of the lamb I overcome and by the blood of the lamb you shall overcome and by the word of my testimony I have victory and by the word of your testimony you also shall have victory and we did not love our lives even unto death. We do not shrink from that. Because perfect love casteth out all fear. And I believe that every one of us, I believe that that is our ultimate goal. Have that perfect fullness of love in the Lord. And we are, uh, we're getting there very soon. So God bless y'all. You shall have victory in the blood of the Lamb. You shall overcome Him by the word of your testimony. And this testimony, I am a victor according to the word of God. Because the Lord has already redeemed me through the blood. So, I pray that my brothers and sisters that are being called, look onto the word with all diligence because that's where you're going to find your answer. That's where you're going to find your direction. That's where you're going to find your foundation to stand on. And no weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon shall prosper. And they may come at you one way, but they're going to flee seven. That's the promise of the Lord. Be blessed. Happy Thanksgiving. And I pray that all of us may one day, you know, uh, meet up. Well, why know we're going to meet up in heaven. And the righteous, the righteous, we're going to inherit the blessings of the Lord. God bless y'all and have a great night.